Yes, it continues right now. We can't wait to get it to uh, talk football. You know how excited people are when they talk about football. Let's uh, move on from politics. Oh, by the way, we did expect Senator Show signing. We don't know what happened. He didn't show up. And uh, having heard uh, the commissioner, we hope that the DG, Kaduna State Geographic Information Service, will come forward and clarify those questions that have not been answered because people want to know what's really going on. But now, we're talking football, and happily so, too. Uh, we're joined now by Ida Peterside. side. Thank you for coming on this morning. <laughs> Thank you. Nigeria is a great country. Oh, yes, indeed. Great and uh, we'll just have to keep going. <laughs> but, you know, yesterday, uh, a lot of people were locked on, trying to do something that excites them. In yeah. the, it was also at night, but this one was football. And uh, let's take a look at that Chelsea match, uh, the Champions League matches between Chelsea and... <laughs> Um, Barcelona. 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 I just stood from a distance and I just saw. So, this is how I might have been reacting if a team I was supporting <laughs> was played. They were all over the place. Yeah. But then, the performance I know we'll talk about Super Eagles player because that's key for us going to the World Cup. What was your impression of that match and the way it turned out? Well, I, 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 am, um, I think they've played 18, I think about 18, 18 times. And um, it's always been difficult for. for for Barcelona, especially to, to, to win in England. And Messi had not scored in about 18 games he'd played in England. And uh, I, I remember the <laughs> captions were that Messi should, should just not score. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's key. And um, Chelsea had a great game, a better game than Barcelona, unexpectedly for me. Uh, but I, I, I don't support Chelsea. So while the game was going on, and I told someone, I told someone, if you don't win, I give you ten. If you win, I give you ten thousand. So I was praying that they shouldn't win <laughs> for me, for me. I, but but was, what a great game! Like you said, Moses, Moses had an outstanding game. He was beautiful to watch. Wow, absolutely beautiful to watch, and indeed, gives us hope. Indeed, he was practically everywhere. He, he was defense, everywhere. midfield. Yes, attack. he was. He was. A, there was this tackle, like you remember. He, there was this tackle he he, he did against Suarez. I, you know, and that, that saved Chelsea from, from losing the game. But, but what I get is Champions League. The difference between other leagues and the Champions League is that Champions play. Yeah. And it's quite, it's quite, it's quite exciting. But hope that Moses will show up for the World Cup. He's been our best player. He's been our best player in the last one year. Everyone is surprised that he didn't win the African Play of the Year. And they can understand why. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Moroccans. Not, that, not because he wasn't the best player in Africa for me. A lot of people said uh, Salah was the best. But he wasn't the best for me, even though he was playing for Roma at that time. Right. Playing for Roma, and um, Moses was playing for Chelsea. But what happened was that the, the Egyptians went to the internet. You had to vote. Sometimes even our own coaches here don't vote for for players yeah. sometimes they say there's no s there's no signal no data how do you see us now progressing mm. uh, as we focus on the uh, on the world cup uh, a lot of things are going for us our, our players are beginning to play they're beginning to play in better teams uh, we didn't have that four years three years ago uh, most of these players are coming to their own. They're beginning to play for big teams, huge teams, and playing regularly. You know, even Ihana just struggled with Man City, but coming to Leicester, he still had a little bit of issue with his weight and his and his form. Um, and he played. Well, he's getting goals. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's beginning to play and he's beginning to score goals. So when you look collectively, we were looking at the team generally. I had a meeting. I came for the NFF awards, so I was sitting with the old boys and we were discussing this team. And what we said was that they have a younger, they have a young team, just like the 1994 team had young players. And they have built up over the years. A player like Ihianacho is already in the national team for two years. Indeed, he's been there for two years. Mikel is the grandfather of the team. He's been there forever. And most of those players are coming to their form. They're coming to their form, which is good for our game. This year, this World Cup and next World Cup will be critical for us because we're at that space and that age where we have players that are, are doing well and uh, they have prospects. If you look at the 94 team again in our discussion, you look at the 94 team, the 94 team had gone to Senegal, done so well, uh, played the ECOWAS Cup, won the ECOWAS Cup before the 1994 World Cup. 
just that they didn't have the the technical guidance. Westerhoff was a brutal, mm. uh, um, um, I would call him a, a physical trainer. That was what he was. He so just so had, what must we do to sustain mm. the form of our boys? No, the right thing has been done. We have, we have three, four months to the World Cup. The players are playing. Uh, the camp will determine a lot of things. Uh, thank goodness Pinnick and his team are ahead of every other association we've had for years. They're not really depending on, depending on the budget, on the Nigerian budget to release funds. As Gio is there, other people are there to sponsor the team. So there's enough money. There's enough money to, pre uh, to, to proceed in the preparation. This was the challenges we had when we were playing. You know, you, you, you'll be hoping that you will go to camp, you will prepare. They will say the budget is not released. There's no money. We don't even know where camping. Now they've secured the camping site. They've secured the hotels. It's beautiful. Just a whole lot of things are changing with the Pinnick administration. So we do feel that if the players, <laughs> if the players, okay, let me tell you a story. I was in the 2010 World Cup uh, team. I was as a media officer. We were supposed to fly. We were in camp in London. We didn't know where to go, what to do, what plane to use. Wow. There were no planes to, you know, we got to the airport, packed our things, we were supposed to, to travel. We got to the airport, the plane did not start. We hired some plane there, it could not move. Oh dear. We, we had to go back to our hotel camp. It was a mess. It was absolute mess. But a whole lot of things are changing. And once a man is prepared, I don't know if you've read, if you've, if you've read a um, book in a hut, a red book in an air conditioned room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you know, let's, okay, now you talked about the management team, that's the NFF, and yeah. them being ahead of all the other teams, management teams you've had to deal with. But let's go back to the issue of the players. How many of the players are actually playing top flight football in Europe? They are playing. Let's, re let's rewind. In 1994, 96, how many of our players were playing in top teams? Hardly. The, 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 the thing about football, a lot of people say top teams. Yes, you have advantage playing top teams because of the level of players you play with. But when you look at the Man City team, someone, say, someone said something, said, if you take uh, Guard Pep Guardiola next year to Manchester United, they'll win the league. Is that not true? Because they have better players. In Manchester United. More expensive players, better players. But putting them together, these little things here and there, makes the team. And that's what we're talking about the Nigerian team. We are beginning to gel as a team, not as individuals. So most people are looking for a mess in our team. We don't have that, but we have a team. And um, a cooperation, and they make right full pot. Okay, <laughs> talking about, okay, now that you've said, let's look at the team. In the 1994 team, we had a finisher mm. in Yakini. Um, but here in this team, how many of the finishers do we have? Meanwhile, some people are still talking about the fact that we don't seem to have a midfielder like we had in JJ Okota. A lot of people say, when do we get a JJ Okota again? So let's look at the team. Do we have a finisher? Do we have a, mid a midfield kingpin? Do we have a defensive kingpin? Okota is my friend, he's watching. Hopefully. <laughs> I need to say some few things. Um, we have put so much emphasis on individuals, and it affects the team in those days. And if you see, those of us who are in the team would always complain. If you lose the ball, you don't mark. Sometimes you waste the ball for us. But the fans are excited because they see the dribbles. He was a, an absolute great player. You see, but again, the formation of a team is solid. You don't take away that. The team, if you see a player like um, Gaba Lawa, no one really noticed what he was an engineer, but he was, was, an, engineer, but but he was he, an engineer. He was, he was pivotal to the team. Now, this is what this present team has. They have a leader in Mikel, which is what you do need. You need somebody to coordinate the team. They have, they have him. You have an NDD that, is, that would do what an Olisa would do. But now, the attack we have is one of the best in Africa. Okay, well, yes. Yeah, even though Igalo has gone to China, but he's still scoring goals. Okay, we've just mentioned it. Yana Cho is coming to his, his, his own. It will be, it will be is there, don't forget. All you need to take to the World Cup are four strikers that can score goals. And we, we look at our qualification. We were scoring goals. 
if the team just okay we okay i always would want to come back to man city that's not my team though but they have a team they have a team that is scoring goals if you think aguero would score even if it's not sc scoring mm -hmm. Sterling is scoring. Sterling is not playing as yeah. his outright as But still, on that same Man City, they have a team and they have a pattern of play. Yes. Do we have a pattern of play? We're coming to that. 